Hello everybody, this is Lightstar Nexus, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Silver Version. In the last episode, we entered the rocket base and got the two passwords that lead to the boss's room. Alright, just wanted to check my Pokemon. In this episode, we are going to go in the boss's room. Alright. And now we have to battle Rocket Executive. We're gonna throw Soren out there. And just have it peck away at him. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm back to using my um, microphone hanging from the ceiling. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is. This microphone hanging from the ceiling, it's the only mic that seems to want to work with me properly. I've, I've tried, like, a, a few of you might wonder why I have it hanging from the ceiling and not on a mic stand. I did have it on a mic stand a little while ago, and whenever I would breathe out, you would hear it with the mic. Like, this is just hanging, like... Like, right now, it's probably a centimeter... The bottom of the... Or, wait. Okay. The front of the mic, where you speak into, that's pointing down towards the ground, which is, um... And it is also right in line with my nose. So, it's still picking up my voice, but when I breathe in... Or when I breathe out, it won't pick up on the air being breathed into it. So it works a little bit better, because with a stage mic, it would just be sitting. <sighs> I hate you so much, coughing. Wow, I didn't even realize that was his last Pokemon. Way to go, Kamikaze! I totally forgot how he did that. He doesn't do that in, um, he doesn't do that in, um, Heart Gold Soul Silver, the remake. He just... <sighs> well, that proves I haven't actually played this game in quite a while. Anyway, with that, um, the Murkrow there told us the password to the generator room. Hail Giovanni. I forgot I didn't battle you! <laughs> well... Okay, so I'm recording this on the same day I, I recorded, um... Paper Mario. Yeah, I didn't like the way the audio turned out on that at all. I apologize right now for how terrible the audio actually sounded. And... Now, see, my problem is, I keep wasting money on mics that are completely worse than this one. I guess technically I didn't waste money on the one I had um, earlier today, because my brother bought that for Xbox Live. I only tried using it, and it didn't work. Yeah, so anyway, also, my game did not come today, so I'm hopefully... Hopefully it comes tomorrow on Wednesday the 28th? Yes, 28th. Oh, it's Dragonite. And Lance. My sense of honor! What the hell are you talking about? This is Rocket Executive. They ain't even bother putting the male or female sign in. They just, they're both named Rocket Executive. Oh well. Hey. Now something I've been debating over whether I should do is, um, after I'm done with this whole LP, I was wondering if I should 
do the Pokemon Stadium 2, uh, um, what was it? The Gym Leader Tower in Pokemon Stadium 2 with this team and just see how well I can do. Because as of right now, I still have yet to beat the Elite Four in the, uh, Gym Leader Castle. And let me tell you, it is really hard doing that with a rental team. And that's kind of the reason why I wanted to, um, I wanted to let's play this game so soon is because I just wanted to get that the hell over with and finally beat the goddamn Elite Four. But yeah, I wish I could have done that for, um, Pokemon Blue version, but I don't think it would have been much fun to just watch me destroy everything with my Mew. Now, to answer a question, um, yes, there's only one other LP that I would be- that I'll be doing where I'll be using a legendary Pokemon. And that is my eventual, um, that is eventually going to be when I LP, um, Pokemon Di uh, not Diamond version, um... Actually, I'm debating over whether I should do Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. Like, I want to do Platinum because I like doing the third je third series- or the, um, third game in a series. But, it'll be easier to do it in Diamond and Pearl. Anyway, what I was going to do is, um, I was going to transfer a Manaphy Egg over that I still have on Pokemon Ranger, that I still haven't transferred over. And I was going to trade that over and use it on my team, because all the water types in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, they just suck. The only one that is really useful is Piplup. Except, I'm going for this whole no using your starter thing with all of my Pokemon games from now on. Which also brings up another point, I do plan on redoing a, my blue version Let's Play someday. But, um, I'm gonna, dr I'm gonna use it, um, or, ah, I need to start over. Um, what I plan to do with it is... I'm gonna eat pro I'm gonna try using the absolute worst team ever. Like I'm gonna use Wigglytuff and um, Espeon and Paris. Did I say Espeon? I meant Flareon. Wow. <laughs> that was derp. But yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that, and at the same time, I'm really not because I didn't enjoy my blue version Let's Play all that much. But if I did redo it, it would all be super fast, and like, I would probably just speed through everything. And it would probably be done in about 10 episodes. Anyway, back to this game. Yeah, Lance won't let us help over there. We gotta go and knock out all three of the Pokemon over here on this side powering the generator, which are all... Electrodes. The evolved form of Voltorb, pure electric type. Special attack, or Electrode is the fastest electric type Pokemon ever, and I believe it's almost the fastest Pokemon ever. Now, I don't see how Electrode being a ball can really move that fast, but it's still extremely fast. Now, you can catch one of these, or you can catch all three of them, actually, and use them on your team. But, I don't like to catch Pokémon that I'm not even going to use. That Gyarados was an exception, because I know people are going to bitch and complain to me that I didn't catch the only legendary Pokémon in- or, not the only legendary, the only shiny Pokémon in the game. <sighs> I'm surprised I made it through that. I should probably switch out. Um, you know, let's give Twilight some action, see if he'll evolve anytime soon. Uh, Super Potion, that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, um, another thing that I plan on doing with all the rest of my Pokemon LPs is, um, I want to try using Pokemon that people think are really underrated and that are really not, like, Dunsparce, for example, a very underrated Pokémon that no one ever uses. 
I personally, on the other hand, love Dunsparce because it's actually very, very strong. A few other Pokemon on my list are like Butterfree, uh, Shedinja, uh, what else? That's all I can think of at the moment, that's all I care to remember. Oh, Jumpluff is one when I do my, um, when I go to do my, um, Heart Gold Let's Play, I'm gonna be using Jumpluff. Because, fun fact, um, I was playing Heart Gold, like, a while back. I, I only had one Pokemon left against Lance, Jumpluff, and I beat him. I beat three of, I beat all three of his Dragonites with Jumpluff. Yeah, if that's not Karma, or, no, that's not it. Yeah, if that's not tough, I don't know what is. But yeah, Jumpluff is a very underrated Pokemon, but it's very strong, just like Dunsparce. You see, people don't take the time to realize a Pokemon's strengths and weaknesses. Like, the Pokemon I really hope... When I go to redo blue version, I want my Parasect to be the strongest Pokemon on my team. That's gonna be my main goal, is get is making that Pokemon, Parasect, the absolute strongest thing you've ever seen in a video game. I don't care about that item there, I really don't. Anyway, what time are we at? We're at 12 minutes. Hi, it's nighttime. <laughs> that was funny. I, um... I have a habit of doing that, um, speaking, and then I'll notice one little detail about something, or I'll hear something, and I can change the subject, subject instantly. Kind of like in school last week, I was just talking to my friend. All of a sudden, someone across the room says one word, and it makes me think of a Christmas carol. And I'm, I almost start singing. I'm like, wait, why would I start singing? I don't like Christmas carols. And it's so frustrating, because when you hear someone sing something, you want to sing along. You know you do. I, on the other hand, I know I want to, but I don't want to at the same time. I want to sing along, but I don't like to. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah, we're going to take on the mahogany. Ma mahogany. Mahogany. That sounded kind of weird the way I said it. Oh, yeah, Iron Tail. Not very effective against water types. Even though this is an ice gym, not too many of the trainers in here have ice type Pokemon. Seal is a water type, while it's evolved from Dugong. Okay, this is Dugong. Dugong is ice water. Rather, water ice, if you want to be all technical about it. And, um, ice is weak against steel. Ah, Seal. I don't know what it is. Seal just looks so derpy, yet I love the way he looks. Why am I- why am I commentating this? This is where I'm supposed- this is where I'm supposed to speed up and play music. What was that? Okay, well, um, I'm gonna speed up and play music now, because I completely forgot what I was doing. I thought I was playing Paper Mario, I guess. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna speed up and play music, and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Damn it, I forgot to turn the animations on again. I am so sorry. I made a mental note to do that. I remembered when I walked in here, forgot while I was battling everyone else. Hi. Well, there's Seal. And Scarab. Pretty much brought Scarab out here because we're going to be dealing with ice types. So I'm going to want my rock smash. And I'll prove to all of you once again that Rock Smash is a great move to have, especially against Ice and Rock types, and Steel types, as we saw against Jasmine. Now, that might not have done much, but with the, with the ability of lowering its defense, Plus a critical hit ratio like that. Yeah. I think... I think I've made my point already. Anyway, this is Piloswine, or Piloswine. I like to say Piloswine. And it doesn't look like we're going to make it through this. Alright, well, we're gonna end this off with Aqua Shock, then. Since he hasn't gotten to see any action since he evolved. Let's hit it with Surf. Son of a bitch! Well, doesn't matter. And... Price was defeated just like that. That was almost too easy. And we received the Glacier Badge. Pretty special stats. Let's just use Whirlpool. And we get TM16. That is Icy Wind. I don't believe any of our Pokemon can learn that, unfortunately. No, I didn't think so. Icy Wind, not too many Pokemon are able to learn Icy Wind. Anyway, um, let's go get a phone call. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. Well, we'll look into that later, in the next episode. Um, so, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.